everybody. Call your swagger in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Wanted to touch base with everybody about the expiring debt relief act that's going to happen at the end of the year related to uh, indebtedness related to mortgage indebtedness on real estate. Boy, I sure do like the word indebtedness. Uh, but anyway, uh, it expires at the end of this year. There's no talk, well, there's talk, but no no uh, indication whether or not the president, Congress, uh, are going to extend it. And that relates to uh, when, say, you have a debt forgiven, a mortgage uh, debt forgiven by the mortgage company. The difference uh, is normally income to you. They call that discharge of indebtedness income. So let's say you had... Uh, a uh, hundred thousand dollars written off, uh, or they took a short sale for your house uh, for a hundred thousand, but you owed two hundred on it. That difference between two hundred and a hundred would be indebtedness that you owed them. And normally, in in well, before about three or four years ago, that would have been income to you. And uh, this is the last year that you're going to be able to uh, exempt that income, that hundred thousand dollars, that difference between two hundred and a hundred thousand, uh, that is normally income and not have to take it. Why is that important? Uh, it's important because if you ever have thought about short selling your home or are going to have to go through anything uh, that will cause a discharge of that debt related only to real estate, um, it may be a you know a complete. Uh, the bank will do away with some of your principal, what what have you. That's uh, they're really whatever they gave up is income to you and you need to make sure that you do it before the end of this year and actually be done with it it can't let linger in the closing they don't care when you went under contract they care when you actually earned the income which would be the date of closing when you receive that well the bank probably uh receive that check on closing so uh just a friendly reminder that uh if you've ever thought about short selling uh you need to hurry up because of the lag time between getting a short sale approved you know we say a lot minimum 45 to 60 days to get one uh once you have an offer so you gotta go through your normal marketing time in birmingham that's 105 days for our team it's a little bit less but nonetheless you want to take 105 add another 60 days minimum so 165 days pushing six months so we, we we need to hurry up and get that done so that hopefully you don't have to include that as income if you wait till next year you probably will so if you have questions about this uh email me call your at mega and have an awesome day